this prediction that's right up here. Or just yell at Larry Brooks like every other New York Ranger. All right. And, of course, you think it's Christmas, but it's the most wonderful time of the year. I actually thought Anthony was going to steal this from me for a minute, and I immediately pounded my dad uh, during his until he said amnesty buyouts, and I went, thank God. All right, but you know what? The great part about this is it's a turnover into the next season. It starts with the NHL draft. We get to, and actually, it's going to even have an extra draft in front of it because we got the expansion draft before this this year. Thirty-two teams in the NFL in the NFL. Oh, what podcast amount? Thirty-two teams in the NHL this season actually matches the NFL with the number. And um, Seattle, welcome to the league, Ron Francis. You were a great player, good GM. I mean, I don't know about great GM yet. I'd have to ask my friend Pete Mack, and he was a Carolina Hurricanes fan about that one. Um, but uh, this is where the great part comes in because it's turning over your roster. It's seeing all these different changes that are going to be happening. The Rangers are always active on uh, what's typically July 1st free agency frenzy, but it's going to be July 28th this year. We will have exclusive coverage on that. Not really exclusive. There's going to be 9,000 different screens. We'd prefer if you watch us. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be trades. There's going to be uh, just so much chaos this year because the trade market is actually bigger than the free agent market. Uh, the, there was 25 different uh, uh, players that were on a list yesterday, and they're not even including some guys that are good names and big names. But there's going to be a lot of activity, and I can't wait to see everything, starting with the draft uh, next Friday night. And uh, actually, and again, I keep on forgetting the expansion draft is going to have plenty of trades too. This is, uh, we've, John, uh, Anthony, and I were always texting. And a matter of fact, there were 96 texts when I was on the elliptical machine alone yesterday at the gym. <laughs> Finally got back to the gym. That's also a good thing too. And uh, just like some of my other group chats where you're going, where the hell am I now? All right, no. But, um, so uh, these guys are always digging up information, and uh, that's why we're going to work on uh, more content to put on this channel for it. But uh, obviously, me, uh, join us for Free Agency Frenzy when we're going to be live coveraging that um, or live streaming that. Ugh. So, But this is such a great time because this is where the optimism comes in. This is where no team can make a bad decision. Well, except what Ken Holland made yesterday because I still... How did you not retain salary? But it's um, this is where everything begins anew. And uh, the only other time you feel this positive is in the preseason, watching your team. So, boys, on uh, on the off season's most wonderful time. Yeah, I think I think Phil can I share the same sentiment. You know, NHL transactions, trades, and free agency has always been. Um, it's always been fun for us. I know there were, there were a couple of years there where you know Phil could come over to my house on trade deadline day and we'd watch the coverage on TSN and um, you know it's stuff like that for you know hockey nerds. It's it's fun when there's you know rumors and big trades and such. So you're absolutely right. This is the time of year where you get it all. Um, you know you get you get teams making trades around the draft to prepare for next season. Um, you know even on free agency day there's sometimes trades that aside from the signings that happen. So um, you know, I, I love it. You know, um, even though July 1st, uh, years past, hasn't really been kind to Islander fans. You know, first you had uh, July 1st, 2018, you had Tavares leaving. And then July 1st, 2019, you had the Panarin tees. Um, so, but g in general speaking, it's a fun day. Uh, see which players land where. And, and then obviously the draft, which Phil and I had the opportunity to cover, was it three years ago now? Um you know, see all the action that surrounded that. You know, teams select their building blocks for the future. There's there's trade talks leading up to free agency. Um, you hit the you hit the nail on the head, Mark. It's it's a fun time, um, and this year has the potential to be different with Seattle coming to the league. It's uh, there's going to be more movement there. Um, you know, so th that's side deals you might see as well. So um, yeah, it's fun. I, I I can't wait to see the the protection list uh, published on the seventeenth. Um, and as we get going here, it's going to be really exciting. 
Yeah, uh, I, I think it's appropriate that you were singing It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Yeah, because three words really kind of describe it for me. It's Christmas in July. Yeah. That's basically what it is. It's Christmas in July. It has been for a long time for myself and Anthony. Anthony and I are all, all, always in contact around these times. I mean, you see it with the group chat. That thing's going to blow up once it everything starts to hit i think this draft weekend has the ability to be probably the busiest and i actually wanted to bring this up to dave when dave was on before with us but um i think this draft weekend has the ability to be one of the busiest draft weekends ever because of what's going on with seattle um the trades that are going to be made free agency jack eichel seth jones i mean i think we can see a lot of names fly around this draft weekend so uh um, yeah it's i'm like a kid in a candy store you're probably going to see me start like looking like i'm going like cornholio and beavis like, ah, ah. yeah uh, i'm just going to start getting into that type of territory oh, i'm curious i'm curious to see if there's going to be any money any more trades before the freeze the the kind that like dave said the trade freeze starts on the 17th and it lasts um i think it i think it lasts to the 20 22nd or something like that so you know, it's uh, or 17th to the 21st after Seattle makes their. That's what it is. It's the 17th to the 21st after Seattle selects their team, and then I think <clears throat> this could start trading with each yeah. other. I mean, you're right. There, there could be some other trades made before then. I don't, I don't know if there will be or not. I think a lot of teams are, are trying to. There, there are going to be some teams that are going to try to make trades for the purpose of the expansion draft. So this way, they can yeah. protect more players and get rid of the ones that they really don't care to protect. Like, you know, obviously the, the buyouts with Suter and Paris they were because Minnesota wanted to protect other players. Yep. So, um, Sean, yes, we are going to be. We're going to be live streaming the free agency. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do the draft. I think I can maybe do the draft if you want. That would be great. Okay. I, I so we're, I'm going to yeah, I'll, I'll I'm gonna give John the chance to do all that because I'm going to be working. And I know Anthony's away. So. Oh, Anthony, well, I'm, I'm away. I'm away when unrestricted free agency starts. Um, is the draft twenty fourth? Uh, the dr draft is the Friday night. I think it's the twenty fourth or the twenty third. It's the twenty third, and then the, the next day is the twenty fourth. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the twenty third. Mm -hmm. I have a I have a men's league game. I have a playoff game. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, men's hey, he's got to be a team member. Got to be a, a teammate. Uh, so, um, all right. So, come on. How are how jazzy are you about uh? What's coming up for the next two weeks league wide? It's not just your team, although who knows? We might have Jack Eichel under our Christmas tree in July, or better yet, maybe just a good third line center. That's all they really need. They need some. They need to make that bottom six better. So that's the way you got to do that. So hit the like button. Put it all in the comments below. Did you like the video? Of course you did. So why not check out some more of our content? You can check the playlist right here. Or right here. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.